Hello everyone, hope you're all well and staying safe. I am on Sugar Cake, and in case you're new to the channel, here I like to play and talk about wholesome games. Today we have a really quick video, it's just a kind of like a preparation guide to the update 1.5 which is coming in a couple hours to Genshin Impact and it's actually bringing the new housing system, which is something that I'm really excited about. Some players won't really play that much, but I am super, super excited about it. I think it's gonna kill Animal Crossing New Horizons for me. And I was just trying to read as much as I could from the internet and Reddit and, you know, to try to figure out all the materials that we're gonna need for the housing system to craft the furniture. And I did find some interesting stuff. So I'm not 100% sure this is guaranteed because after all, the update is still coming in a couple hours, like I said. But I found this very cool post by Drake84PL. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that very weirdly, but he did a carpenter's handbook showing all the ingredients and materials that you will need to craft all the materials to craft the furniture. So I just said I'm gonna show you guys um, where to find all these materials and especially the wood from the trees, which I think that's gonna be, you know, at the start, since it's a new item, you may not know exactly what to look at. So I kind of looked all across the map and tried to find the easiest spots to get all this wood. You will be able to get wood from chopping the trees with your sword, like the usual, uh, just like you break the, the iron and white iron as well. So, the best way, I think, in my opinion, to check is just utilize the interactive map. So Genshin Impact actually released an official map, which is this one. I'm gonna be linking in the description down below. Um, so I'm just gonna use this here and also show you guys in game what it looks like and where it is, so you can find the materials as well. But essentially, what we're gonna need is a lot of iron, white iron, silk flowers, sunsetia, carrots, valberries, mints, wolf hooks, berries, and coal lapis. Besides all of that, which will be used to craft the fabric and the potions, we will also need all the woods from the trees. And they are different trees that can be found in different places of the map, so I'm gonna start showing you right now. So the first one is the birch tree. The easiest place that I've seen at least, well, you can find it across all Mondstadt, but the easiest place is here in Down Winery. Let me show you guys the teleporters because that can help you situate yourselves. But the easiest way to find it is here on this little, you know, hill, I guess, um, if I can find uh, name it like that. Um, you'll find a bunch of birch trees around here. So I'm gonna show you what they look like in game which can be helpful if you want to start the update already chopping down some trees. Um, the next tree you will need is fear or fur. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, sorry. Um, the easiest place to find it, I think it's the Dapa Gorge. So once you teleport it, you can see it all across. It's re this really dark tree. Um, other trees that you can find very easily is in the Storfell Lake area. This area you find like loads of trees of all kinds. You can find the fragrant tree and also the Kuihua tree. I don't know. Again, I don't know if I'm speaking those right. Um, just forgive me. And yeah, you can find these trees and also birch trees and other trees. The easiest way to find them is just look at the shape and color. And of course, the sunset trees there, they they will probably be able to chop to be chopped down as well. Um, Another tree that is really easy to find is the pine. So you're gonna find it all across the Dragon Spine area, especially here on the Star Gold Cavern. You can just um, teleport to this one here and you'll find loads of pine trees there. Super easy to find. Another tree that you can find that is a bit, this one is a bit harder, I think, or at least I didn't re like realize where exactly they were, but it's the sand better tree. You can find a couple here on Mount Aozang on the top side. Um, and also you can find near this teleporter here, right to, to the side of um, Liyue. So north of Liyue, you can teleport here and you'll find a bunch of them as well. They look a bit yellow, so I guess they are easiest to, um, you know, find in the middle of other trees, but they are not across all over Liyue. 
Um, and the easiest tree to find, of course, is the bamboo tree, which you can easily find by teleporting here to Qingse village area. You'll find loads of bamboos. You're probably already been there. You're probably already know where it is. Another item that you will need besides the trees are the white irons and irons, like I said. So honestly, there are so many um, across the map that I think the easiest way is for you to just search for white iron vines here. So you'll probably find it here by selecting the white iron chunk in the futures. You can hide this up on the side and here you'll find lots of spots that have, uh, you know, lots of white iron. So a great spot here is the Mount Aozeng as well, which you can go to get the trees and also the white iron. Usually when you have white iron, you also have iron chunks. So just search for the white irons and you'll find a bunch of iron chunks near it as well. So that's fine. But as you can see here, you can find the number on top of it and you will be able to search like for the, for the materials that you need very easily using this interactive map. Another item that you will probably need quite a lot is the silk flower. I've seen um, someone saying that we need like loads, like 30 silk flowers or something like that for one piece of paper or fabric. So that's going to be a bit, you know, overwhelming if you didn't like gather too many silk flowers until now. So um, silk flowers are actually pretty hard to come by. So you can filter them as well here to, you know, make everything easier for you. So you can come here and select only the silk flower and you'll see that you can only find here on Wang Shun Inn and also here on, you know, the Liwei Pavilion, I think is the name of this area. So on the top, top side, when you go to Bubu Pharmacy and you, you know, go upstairs, um, you will find those silk flowers, little pink bushes around. Um, another eating you will need is the Sunsetia. So the Sunsetia is as easy as they can be. You probably see them everywhere. Um, the Sunsetia trees, you can find loads here on Lisha area of Liyue and also of course Starfell uh, Lake on Mondstadt, which you can find lots of materials. I feel like Whispering Woods, which is this area here, is going to be the best area to get the materials for housing system because it has so much stuff in there. The other item we need is the carrots, so you can also come here and filter them. Couldn't be easier. And you'll see the spots that, you know, you can find carrots. Carrots are actually pretty hard to find, in my opinion. I always use them for foods and I'm always like needing them. I really hope they put some sort of like planting system on the house area so we can plant our own crops and especially carrots. Um, another item you need is the fall berry. So you can also come over here and get the fall berries. The thing with fall berry is that it's a local specialty. So if you do have Kli, she's going to show you everywhere you can find the local specialty on your minimap. So that's really useful. If you don't, don't worry. Um, the fall berries are pretty spread out as you can see, but they are easy to spot from afar because they are pretty tall and they have like four um, fruit in each, so it's not as difficult to get lots of ball berries. And if you did upgrade your Noel, you probably have loads of them, anyways. Um, another thing you will need is the mint. Oh, the very, very common mint that we all have loads and only use it for the transformer gadget thingy. So, let's see what is it. So, here you can find mint. I mean, I don't think anyone needs the map to do that, but. Um, funny enough, you can find lots of mints in the Dragon Spine area, so that's quite surprising. And another thing that you need will be the Wolf Hook. Um, so it's also a local specialty, so again, if you have Klee, it's going to be really easy. But Wolf Hook, you probably already know, you can found, you can, it can be found across the path um, to the Boreas um, Wolf boss, so you can find loads of them. It's good because it shows the exact location, so there are actually a field here hidden behind the the arena, so I actually didn't know about those, so that's a pretty good um, item to get as well, because there aren't many, and actually apparently there is only 14 of hooks. That's crazy. It's like really little. 
amount. But anyways, the next item you will need is a berry. So berries are really easy to find as well. You've probably seen loads of them. They're always like in a little plant with three of them. So you're gonna, you know, easily have those. Um, and another item that you will find, which is probably the last one that we will need, is the core lapis stone. So of course, I don't know if these are the only items you'll need, but hopefully they will be. Um, so the core lapis is a local specialty from Liwei. And it's also a ore. So if you have Ningguang or Chi Chi, they are both going to be useful. Just like Klee, they're going to show you on your mini map where they are. So it's going to be easier to find them because Coal Lapis is actually usually pretty spread out. So it's actually pretty annoying to get. And it takes lots of days to reset. I think it's like two or three days in real life to reset. So uh, they're pretty annoying to find. The easiest place is obviously Mount Hulao. And you have quite a few here around Tianqui, Tianqui Valley. And, you know, you can find it in certain spots. You have quite a few here on the island, really, you know, together. And another really good spot is actually in Salterai, but they're not showing here on the minimap. So if you did get the enough adventure rank, I think it's 40, and you unlocked Zongli um, first story quest, you will unlock this place here in Salt Array. And this place here has loads of coral apps. I think it's like six or eight or something. And it's a really good spot because they are all very close to each other. So I really recommend you farming here as well because this is like a new stop spot that can unlock for you later in the game. And yeah, I think that's it guys. Um, of course, I covered like all the materials that is on the Carpenter's Handbook that I mentioned that I saw on Reddit. There is a possibility that we will need even more items for more furniture that we don't know right now. But as I speak of now, um, before the update is released, these are the items that we know that we're gonna need to craft the furniture. Um, I hope this video is helpful for you somehow. And I can't wait to see what you guys gonna do with the housing system. Cause I'm, I know, you know, I've been doing Animal Crossing tours for quite a while now. And I know that you guys can do incredible stuff, you, you know, with this kind of platform. So um, I actually want to propose, um, maybe we could do some like island, well, island tours. <laughs> I don't know if I can call it island, but teapot tour tours. Uh, we could do some teapot tours and I would love to just check, um, you know, your houses, guys, on Genshin Impact. I think that's going to be quite fun. <laughs> we should definitely do that. So if you're interested, just, you know, subscribe and tell me in the comments uh, what you think. And yeah, I would love to play with you guys. And thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful somehow. And see you in the next video. Bye.